we are completely reinventing brand building. So we recognize that, uh, that the world is disrupting, that there's really mass disruption going on. And as a result of that, we're leading disruption. The annual Consumer Electronics Show has for years been the place where new gadgets, gizmos, and connected devices first get introduced. In recent years, it's also been the place where beauty and consumer care brands like P&G, L'Oreal, and Johnson & Johnson come to get ideas about how to use technology to improve their products and services. And in some cases, debut tech of their own. This year we came to CES so we could show all the cool things that we're doing with technology and how we're embedding them in everyday household and personal care products. And what that is allowing us to do is to be able to show the technology, meet with other technology partners or potential startups, uh, and then get inspired with for new innovation. Our approach was always thinking about, you know, um, creating beautiful products and services that meet some consumer needs that have been around for ages and just haven't been able to be solved without having technology. It's a really important distinction between um, a gadget or something that's useful. If a technology is revolutionary, but it has no benefit for consumers, if they don't see the difference in their, in their life and for their skin, then that's something we rule out quite, quite quickly. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take technology and embed it into a product to make it useful. So to improve the experience. When we talk to our consumer, they, they're saying that the purchase experience of skincare is actually overwhelming, the shelf is a bit intimidating, and, and it's overall quite frustrating. Uh, they don't really know what product they should choose, and they don't know either if the product that they're choosing is really working for them. A major theme this year, according to the brand representatives Adweek spoke to, is using tech to help personalize beauty and personal care experiences depending on the individual needs of consumers. More and more we're seeing the, um, the trend and also the demand of consumers in a positive way around personalization. It's actually all about figuring it out yourself and a lot of trial and error, and, and that's where personalization is, uh, is important. Personalization is something that's been around for a long time. But because of this real you know, movement to smart data, we believe that it was a good moment to bring some key projects around that. The beauty of data is, is what it does is it allows you to eliminate waste. Today, our approach is very much around anonymous data when it comes to this type of stuff to make our algorithms better, continuously make our you know, relationship with the consumer and the information that they get to be smarter, but also help us on the R&D standpoint to know how to develop better products. We hear a lot about data at CES and, uh, and a lot of companies are trying to collect as much data as possible. Um, our ambition is actually to give data back to consumers. Uh, it's not about getting your data and then using it for yourself. It's about helping you as a consumer to understand your skin based on facts and based on, on data. It's all about finding smart ways to make it easier for those brands to tell consumers more information about themselves and then tell them about which products are best for their own needs. I'm Kelsey Sutton for Adweek.